hurts more when a woman cheats on a man because men make six times more the amount of money that women make. And if I have bad credit, maybe broken leases, a criminal background. Cheers. Y'all, we head to the Rockets game. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Come on, baby, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Just lay in it. Spin all day in it. My head is don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They take with it. I'm okay with it. Hey besties, before we get started with today's video, I just want to give a huge shout out to our sponsor, Lumi. You guys already know I have been using Lumi for a long time now, almost a year at this point. So I'm always excited when it's time to tell you guys a little bit more about them. So let me just start off by asking you guys a question. Do you want to smell better? Naked that is? We should all know by now that our underarms are not the only area that holds odor. That's why we have Lumi here for our pits, privates, and beyond. So Lumi was created by an OBGYN who discovered and proved that the vagina is not to blame for our day-to-day -day odor below the belt. So she developed Lumi, which is a pH balanced deodorant that's uniquely formulated. It is aluminum free, skin safe, and proven to last up to 72 hours. It is the first of its kind and you can use it literally everywhere, guys. You can use it on your pits, you can use it in your V, you can use it under your breasts, you can use it in the back where the sun don't shine. Literally, full body. When we say a full body deodorant, it's a full body deodorant. And guys, this is almost really like a pre-deodorant because what it does is it stops the odor from even happening. So if you want to put on some Lumi before you go to the gym, before you sit in the sauna, before you just have a long day out at work, wherever you want to do, put your Lumi on and you will feel protected for the entire day. And you'll be smelling good. There are a bunch of different fragrances on their website that you can choose from. So there is a scent out there for everybody. So right now, Lumi is offering my subscribers a special offer to get their starter pack. And it is perfect for new customers. So your starter pack comes with a solid stick deodorant, a cream tube deodorant, also two free products of your choice, like full body wipes or the mini body wash. So you will get all these items as well as free shipping. All you have to do is click down below, put in my code GINA5OFF and you will get $5 off a starter pack. So that is over 40% off in savings. So if you want to feel and smell fresh and secure all day, you guys will be able to take advantage of this awesome deal. Once again, thank you so much to Lumi for sponsoring today's video. Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> I am starting off the vlog on a Wednesday um, because I have not been feeling good the past two days. And as you can see, like the way I sound, I'm still not feeling good. Um, uh, Saturday is when I felt like the little tingle tingle. And I'm like, hmm, am I getting sick? I feel perfectly fine, but I feel like I might be getting sick. So I took some Zycam and I was perfect. I was good for the rest of the day. Sunday, woke up, felt like the little tingle 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 again. So I took Zycam again. And I took the, and now this time on Sunday, I took the Zycam two or three doses. Y'all know Zycam, well at least the Zycam that I have is a spray. So you spray like four pumps in the back of your throat, you hold it there for like 15 seconds, then you swallow. And you can repeat every two to three hours. So Sunday, fine. Monday, this nostril starts running. I mean, dripping like a faucet. Yesterday, which was Tuesday, the same nostril that was dripping like a faucet is now stuffed up. Now here we are Wednesday and one nostril is dripping, the other one is <laughs> closed up. So I don't have a cough, I don't have a headache, I don't have fever, body aches, and um, it sucks. I have a hair appointment 
as you guys can see, I took my hair down last night and I'm going to wash it. Excuse the, uh, y'all know I wear my wigs low. So that's why y'all see the tan right here. I have a big forehead and this just accentuates it because I have, this is where my wigs sit. So anyway, I have to wash my hair. Um, I cannot cancel my hair appointment because on her website, it says it's a $100 fee to reschedule. $100. So I will be getting my hair done today. <laughs> so I'm hoping by, because it's only what, nine? <clears throat> yeah, it's not even 9.30 yet. So I'm hoping that um, I'm feeling better. I'm hoping this Theraflu does the trick. I'm also going to take some Zycam after I finish this cup. And I'm probably going to lay down for like an hour. I got to be good by Friday. I got plans on Friday. I got plans for the whole weekend. So I need to be in tip top health. All right? Yesterday, I did go look at houses with my sister. My lease is up in two months. She was telling me that it's too soon. <sighs> She's like, why you want to look at houses two months before your lease is up? I'm like, because I know how quickly stuff goes, especially with it being the end of the school year. That's when everybody tries to move, like before, right before summer or during the summertime. So, like, if you see a house that you like, you need to put your bid in on it. So... We looked at three houses yesterday. Two of them are beautiful. Two of them I really, really love. Um, Saturday, we have appointments to go look at more houses. I didn't take you guys with me yesterday just because I wasn't vlogging yesterday. So Saturday, I might take y'all with me. Um, or just maybe, maybe I'll just catch a few shots. Even if I don't take y'all with me, I just might t take a few shots of the houses that I'm looking at. But um Y'all already know, house hunting, that's like weird when you're trying to vlog. It's a sticky situation because it's like, what if you show the houses and then you wind up getting one of them and you don't want to show like the outside, the whole backyard, the street and I don't know. It's weird when looking at houses, but I'll show you guys probably, excuse me, <clears throat> some shots of the houses. But what I am looking for is two stories, master bedroom on the first floor a game room, a study, four or more bedrooms. Two houses that I looked at yesterday had five bedrooms. One had four bedrooms. And they all also had studies and game rooms. That's a must for me. Um, open concept kitchen. And when I say open, like this. Like, it looks out into, like, the living room. So if you have company or you're entertaining or whatever... It's not like a closed off kitchen. I hate closed off kitchens to where you have to like walk around the corner to talk to the people that are in the next room. Um, spacious master closet. A big shower. Y'all know this house and the last house have had jailhouse showers. That's what I call them. I know some people, probably people who like live in like New York who are used to like small spaces and small showers are probably like, Jenny, your shower is good or your tub is good or whatever, whatever. No, to me, these are like really small. That's a small shower. Like I'm a big girl. I'm big. I'm tall. Like I need, I need space. So spacious shower, um, a vanity area for me to sit down. Cause you know, I have that area in my bathroom where I can have a bench and I can sit down and do my hair, my makeup. What else? When you're renting, you're not going to find Every, I mean, it's rare when you're going to find everything on your list that checks off everything on your list. You know, that's why, you know, some people, like I told you guys before, I'm not ready to purchase right now. When I am ready to purchase, I will know when the right time for me is. There's no deadline. Like, I hate when people say, oh, at a certain age, oh, when you get married, you have to purchase. Oh, when you have kids, you need to purchase. When you do this, you need to purchase. You need to purchase, 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 purchase. Everybody's life timeline is different. When it feels right for you, boo, that's when you do it. Don't let anybody tell you what society standards are. Oh, because you're 28 and you're married and you're pregnant, you need to purchase your first house. No, like, no. My sister purchased her first house when she was 26, I believe. She was in her like mid-20s. 
because that's what society said. You need to purchase. She said it's the worst mistake of her life. And now at 40, she says she will never purchase another house. She says she does not want a house. She is cool with the apartment life. So everybody is different. So don't let nobody, because of what was good for them, don't let them tell you that that's good for you too. So anyway, um, yeah, and I want to be able to put up, of course, a basketball goal in the front yard. So I need to have, you know, like a little spacious driveway. Um, backyard, eh. And I don't be in my backyard. I don't barbecue in my backyard. I don't have parties in my backyard. I don't care about like, backyard is like last on the list, so. But yeah, mm, yeah. I don't want a neighborhood that has a bunch of cars parked on the street. I absolutely hate that. Um, I don't want a neighborhood where people's yards aren't kept up. Um. Yeah, because I might see a house that's beautiful. Like, oh, it's beautiful. looks gorgeous on the outside, the inside. But then your neighbor across the street only got two patches of grass. And then your neighbor two houses down from then got five cars parked on the street and in the driveway. I just, stuff like that is like, mm -mm, no, I don't want that. So, anyways, once I do find something, y'all will know. Y'all will get a little sneak peek. And... It'll be a process. It'll be a journey. So, but anyway, I'm about to finish my Theraflu, y'all. And I think I'm about to lay down for about an hour. Um, maybe just lay in bed in the dark, watch a vlog or two. And then see what is life. What is life? Why am I sick? <laughs> I got diamonds, do it since he's slides in both ears. Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight. Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the koala in my shorty bag You know she want a mom when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she know the toys Keep it coming, you a rider It's that roll myself a day and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you not as often, it's gon' be some shit well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We all stutter Till I D.I.E. Thank you so much to Arabella Hair for sponsoring this video and sending me this beautiful unit. With your package, you do get a bag of goodies, your unit. You see, I got that beautiful 26 inch hair. Now let's get her installed. Had a little bad enough. We stay good friends. We get too baby. All I know is that when this cup ends, the next one begins. My babe, you know me. And you know me back then And you know how it goes when I see you again You know I'm making my way to your ends And you know I need you to be there for me You a little post so baby You a little 48 baby Got a little candy in her pocket She gon' take off like a You already know Dirtied up a couple more on the north side Text you but I know you probably caught side Know I gotta come and check the whole man, baby Hold tight I just touched the city with the cheap block stainers And we got adopted by some fit for strangers You know what it means when I twist these fingers Me and you being on a first name basis Why you think I hate it when you talk that Drake shit Same reason that you never left me hanging Same reason that I tried to make you famous Same reason that I tried to show you just who I was outside of the club, outside of things that a man like me does, outside of the things that would cause you to judge, outside of the club, show you just who I was outside of the club, outside of things that a Have some fun. Here we go.
Okay, besties, this is the finished look of the hair. As you know, this is an Arabella unit. Huge shout out to them once again for sponsoring today's video. This is a 26 inch unit. Y'all see that it has brown and black streaks going through it. It is a frontal unit as well. Y'all Arabella hair has any type of hair, length, color that you could think of. They have it on their website. The full details of this unit will be down below in the description box. And there will also be a coupon code down below as well. Get into the unit, get into the application. Super cute, flawless. I'm ready for the weekend. We went to Target after the hair appointment. Y'all, aren't these some cute vacation linen pants from Target? And only $25. Look. Yes, I got a 2X because your girl is wide body. Okay. But yeah, y'all, and the length is good for me. I couldn't wear heels with them, but y'all know I'm not a heels girl. Anyway, I'm wearing these some flats on vacation. Child, I want to go get the, the cream ones, the black ones. I want to get all of them now. Mm -hmm. Okay, Torje. Y'all ready for a haul? Some more vacation shit with no vacation planned? No, I'm just playing. I do have a vacation plan, actually. I have multiple vacations planned, actually. You guys will be seeing those very, 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 very soon. I have my Theraflu right here. This is my nighttime Theraflu. I'm hoping I feel good enough in the morning to go to the gym. But the way I feel right now, the way I sound right now, I I don't think so. But we're keeping our fingers crossed. But anyway, let's move on. She in. We got a package. Do y'all like hauls or do y'all get sick of hauls? I hope you guys like them. Because y'all know I'm the, the high and low queen. I'm going to show y'all the deals, the steals, and the girl, why did you spend that much money? I'm going to show y'all everything. So anyway, I don't really like bringing my designer bags on vacation, especially like beach like vacations. So I brought, I bought, bought, brought, I bought some Shein bags. Let's see how they look. Ooh, baby, that's gold, gold. It's cute. That's a cute little vacation bag. Let me tell y'all the prices. Hold on. Let me tell y'all the prices. Let me go to Shein. And y'all, whenever y'all order from Shein, make sure you take pictures, write your review, because you get points for that. Those points convert into money off your next order, okay? It's it's definitely worth it to take a little snapshot, do a little review. It's cute, it ain't cute, it's thin, it's cheap, it's whatever, it's this or that. Get your points, okay? And then if people like your review, like if you do an in-depth review, you get even more points for that. Okay, so I, I post all the time on, on Shein. I, I, I put my little two cents in to get my little dollars off. I'm watching Glamour's on tell. Let me pause her for a minute. She's, sitting, she's doing a sit-down little q and I like um I like sit-down chatty videos. <gasps> Y'all know I love vlogs, but I like sit-down chatty videos. I need to start doing more of them myself, actually. Oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Just throw it in the bag. Um, this bag was $7.45. Ooh, this is cute. This is cute and fun. Y'all know she and the fake leather be having a weird smell to it. This is a cute little tassel bag, and it should have a draw. I said drawstring, not a drawstring, a strap on the inside. Because Yes, it has a little chain strap on the inside to wear crossbody. This little bag also $7.45. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little detail right here. And it has like a little animal print. This is cute. $4.94, y'all. $4.94. This the last little bag. Where's the handle? Oh look. That's cute. Look how vibrant this green is, y'all. 
This is so cute. And it holds, holds your room key, holds your lip gloss, your powder. You know, oh, this is real cute, y'all. This one's more expensive, $9.27. That's still cheap though, $9.27. This bag would be at Target for like $19.99 or higher. Target's so expensive now. Y'all, these little bags are so cute. Y'all looking for vacation bags? You don't want to bring your expensive bags on, on vacation? These are so cute. Okay, then I did buy a dress. It's probably not going to be... This isn't the shade... Kind of deceiving. I do not like this shade of green. This is like a sea foam. That's more of like a brighter green. That's more of like... No, it ain't that. Well, it is kind of that green. But this is like sea foam. We're going to try it on. This was $16.44. Of course, I always use a coupon code from Retail Me Not. They'll have coupon codes on the website, but on Retail Me Not, to me, it finds the best coupon codes because usually on the website to get like 20% off or 15% off, you got to spend like $60 to get 15% off or $100 to get 20% off. Usually on Retail Me Not, a lot of times you can find um, coupon codes that don't have a spending limit. It'll just be 20% off of anything. So anyway, that's my sheet in order, straight vacation stuff. I'm mad about that color. Anyway, next is H&M. I told you guys I got some cover-up shirts to wear with my denim shorts and my bathing suit. We got a chocolate brown linen shirt. They had a 20% off one-day sale for members, so that's why I bought these. Oh, that's chocolate chocolate. Do I like this? That's chocolate chocolate. Okay, so it'll cover up, you know, it'll come to a nice length when I wear um, the shorts. Okay, so we got that in an extra large. The rest of the stuff we got in a 2X, just because I honestly don't know why. <laughs> this is just a pink sheer one. I think I'm going to take this one back because I don't need two pink cover up shirts. Let's open it and see though. They are two different shades of pink. Which one y'all like better? I like this one because it's thin. I don't, can y'all see how thin this one is? This gives me beach vacation. Y'all can't see how thin it is, but this one is more of like a heavier linen, which is still beachy of course, but I've, I just like this one. I think I like this one better and I don't need two pink shirts. Yeah, we're gonna take this one back. That one's gonna go back and we'll keep this. Okay, then we got an orange one. This one was like an Oxford shirt, but it wasn't linen. I just like the color of it. Oh, this is giving like a business shirt. Y'all know the material of like a business shirt that you wear to work? Because it's not linen, it's like you have to iron it. And I don't know if I like that. Y'all know who's ironing on vacation. At least I'm not. Yeah, I don't iron, so. Y'all know on vacation, I like stuff to just throw on and go. Y'all see what I mean? Like, I can't wear this on vacation. Like, and if I have this folded up, rolled up in my suitcase, it's going to be wrinkled. And this one might be slightly too oversized, I think. <laughs> I probably could have got this in an extra large or even a probably a large. Honestly, I got big hips like these hips are 52 inches and for it to fold over like a bathrobe, bitch. Like, yeah, this is too big. Mm -mm. I think I'm gonna keep it. I like the color. I would have preferred one size smaller, but I think I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, we're gonna keep it. Okay, so this is the extra large. I like the way this fits better. It's still long, covers up my butt. 
The lighting is getting bad now. The sleeves are still nice and big, oversized. So, okay. So if I order any more, I just know that I need to get an extra large. Do y'all think medicine really like this helps or do y'all think it's like um the like the placebo effect to where we're told Theraflu works. We're told Theraflu is going to help with our congestion, cough, runny nose, upset stomach, whatever symptoms you're having. Do y'all think it's really just a mind thing like, "Oh, I've taken my over-the-counter medicine, so now I'm going to feel better because that's what I've been told in my brain. That's what the commercials tell me. That's what the box tells me." What y'all think? Prescription medicine? I know that works. Every time I take prescription medicine, especially prescription pain medicine, baby, I be floating on cloud nine. Okay. All right, next package. This is from Miss, Miss Fashion Sense, a black-owned brand. So I am super excited about this. I wonder if I should wait until my other package comes from the black-owned brand and I could just do like a black-owned... Yeah, I think I'm going to wait, y'all. Because I have another... They just sent me the thing today. It was custom made. And they sent me the email today that your package has shipped. So it should be here. It's Wednesday. It should be here like Saturday. I think I'm going to wait. Y'all forgive me, okay? We're going to wait. Come back. It should probably be later on in this in this blog. This same blog. We'll see, though. We're just going to do a little black. Mm, what do I say all the time? I know y'all probably get tired of hearing it. We could spin with... Big brands like H&M, Target, Shein. We can spend with these big brands. We can, we can support our black small owned businesses. Okay. So, all right. Let me take my pictures from Shein so I can get my little perks. And I'm finished watching Glamazante. And I think we're done for the night, y'all. I probably won't pick y'all back up. Good morning. Happy Friday. Um, yeah, I've already went to the gym. I've picked up my stuff from the tailor. I just waited in a long ass line at the post office to return some Fashion Nova stuff. Um, I'm gonna try to go to Target. Y'all, Target! Target! Target got them shit right now! Baby. Baby. Mmm. Let me show you, because I sent Jennifer a picture last night. Let me see if I can show y'all the picture. Because I wasn't vlogging yesterday. I apologize. I'm sorry. Y'all know. Anyways, I've been sick, so. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this cute stuff from Target. Can y'all even see? Look at that little orange knit set. That brown knit set. That blue set. Orange benzo. Look at them slides. Girl. Look at that. Girl, Target got pants that come to my... Can y'all see that? All the way down to the ground? <sighs> Target got some cute stuff right now. So, I was going to probably stop by the Target right over here before I go to my lash appointment, if I have time. I don't know. I'm at Boulevard Bagel right now. I want a salmon bagel. I don't know. I want something different. Usually when I'm on the go and have like a busy day, I'll go and get like a grilled, um, that egg white grill from Chick-fil-A. I don't want that. I had that earlier this week and I had it once last week. I don't, I don't want that. I've never been a Boulevard bagel, so they have a lox bagel, salmon, salmon bagel with cream cheese, onions, cape, onions, oh, tomatoes, capers. And they got a steak bagel. That's got, that's too heavy. I think I'm going to do a lox. I don't want the sandwich. I don't want it as a sandwich. I want it like as an open face bagel. They got an omelet wrap. I'm trying to read the little chalk, chalkboard from my car. Anyways, let's walk in here. Good morning. Oh, I've never been here before, so I'm just kind of looking at the menu. Um, can I do the lox sandwich? Hold on, baby. I'm, I'm ordering some food. Hold on. Um, the lox sandwich with no capers. What kind of onion is on there? Is it red onion or white? It's red onion. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah, that'll be it. That'll be it. 
what bagel, what kind of bagels do you have? Oh, duh. <laughs> um, let's do an everything bagel. What's a honey crack? Just wheat. Oh, it's wheat. Okay. Is that yep, that'll be it. Y'all, I just, I, I can't, oh, my head is cut off. We got a wig on today. We can show the full head. We ain't got to cut the head off. Y'all know I only cut my head off when I got my natural hair showing. Oh. I need to get a different type of, I need a mount that shows me from like up here. It just shows. It's like I got to sit all the way back for y'all to really see me. Anyway, um, I don't like rude people. Like it is so, it's so easy to not be rude. Being rude like takes energy. Why would you want to be rude? The guy who just took my order in there didn't smile. And maybe it was because of the camera. It could have been. But if I'm paying cash and I put my cash in your hand, when you give me my change and my hand is out and you put it on the countertop, that is like the rudest shit you can do when dealing with customers, in my opinion. Y'all let me know. Oh, shut up. Y'all let me, does that bother y'all too? Like, my hand is out. I put the money in your hand, but you're gonna set it on the counter? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's a hot sandwich. Y'all, I'm so used to eating, um... I'm so used to eating these cold. I got everything bagel. I should have got sun-dried tomato bagel. I didn't realize they had sun-dried tomato until after I had already ordered. That's how it looks. Yes, I sanitized my hands. I can't believe I have to like say this stuff now. I sanitized my hands, okay? <laughs> Shit, fuck y'all. I ain't about to say that during every video. Okay, y'all, I washed my hands before I touched the food. <laughs> Damn! They were kind of skimpy on the uh, salmon. It's good, but I definitely got the wrong kind of bagel. I should not have gotten an everything bagel. Ugh. Okay. So I'm about to take the top off of this and just eat it open face because is it the is it the top of the bag? It's salty, y'all. Yeah, it's that bagel top. I'm taking that off. Mm -mm. Y'all, that bagel was terrible. I wasted twelve dollars. And y'all know I don't waste food. I I I don't waste food. It's got to be bad for me to waste it. That, I, child, that was terrible. That salty ass everything bagel. I have everything bagel seasoning at home and it's not salty like that. Like, I don't understand why that bagel tasted like a sodium bagel. Like, mm. but anyway, we're about to get our lashes done. These are the before lashes. I'm getting like a three week refill I think it's been like three weeks now and just like that we back I forgot that today's appointment was not with my girl Mary y'all know that's who I've been going to for a long time now she was busy today and I booked this appointment kind of last minute Ooh, the sun is beaming down on me hold up so I went with another girl um she did good but they're not how Mary do okay I asked for volume. To me, these are not volume. These are the, um, these are like classic, in my opinion, compared to how they're usually done. I know y'all gonna say like, no, Gina, those are good. Those look better on you. Those are more natural. Those are the, baby, I want them curtains, okay? I want drapes on my eyes. I just, that's what I like. That's what I want. This is just a little bit too dainty for my, for my liking, so. They cute, so anyway, they'll do. They'll get the job done for the weekend. Target got some cute cover-up tops. I like this one, how thin it is. I might get that, that might be an option. And they got cute cover-ups. Look at that. Let 
We got the pants, y'all. Don't be sleeping on Torjay now. That's a cute print. This is the set that I tried to show you guys on my camera. Let's see. Cute cover-up set. Well, if you don't want to wear it as a cover-up, you don't have to. You can wear it as a regular outfit. And here it is in black. I think each piece is 18. Yeah. This is so cute. Let's see. Oh, it fits. That's surprising. This is $5 at Target. Do we like it or do we not? Is it doing too much? This is also $5. Both of them were in the um, the dollar spot at the front. Oh, this one's cute. I think I like this one. Ooh. I think I'm gonna get this one. Then you can really pack this in your suitcase. Look at that. Just like that. I'm gonna say no. It's giving grandma's gardening hat, so nah. Here's a cowboy hat. How much is this? $22. This don't fit. It's cute. It, this is a cute hat, though. It don't fit me. It's cute and fun to wear on vacation. Not for $17, though. I need to see if she ain't got a cheaper version. That's cute. Okay, y'all, just got home. I brushed my hair out. I don't think crimps are for me. I don't, I think I'm about to try to attempt to flat iron this to make it bone straight. I really don't know because if all else fails, I will be taking this wig off. I, I like this wig, it's very cute. Um, I just wish I hadn't told her to do crimps. I wish I told her to feather it and curl it how I always do or flat iron it. Cause now flat ironing this is going to take forever. Hopefully, I mean, I don't know, hopefully not. It's 26 inches, baby, 26. But yeah, that's the plan. Um, I'm about to shower, flat iron my hair, go pick the kids up, come home, do my makeup, get dressed, and then head to Tina's house. We have um, a game to go to tonight. So I'm excited about that. Then afterwards, we'll probably like go out to eat, maybe possibly, or go do something. Y'all, it is final four weekend. Everybody and their mama is in Houston. I did not know final four was such a big thing. I, I, I had no clue. Y'all know I don't keep up with sports. My kids play it, but I don't keep up with it. So yeah, I'm sure we'll end up somewhere before the night is over with. Um, I'm gonna attempt to wear my boots today. <laughs> I kept them, y'all. They on the ground right there. I kept them. So I'm going to uh, I'm attempt to wear them. Hopefully they're comfortable to wear for hours. Lord. Now they have them in red and wide. Y'all, if these black ones hit and they're comfortable, baby, I'm about to order them red ones too. They need to make them all in wide. They need to all come in regular and wide. Come on, in inclusivity. Is that the right word? That y'all need, the, the, the thick women want to wear the boots too, shit. And maybe I might live a different life than you. And maybe she's entitled to do what they want because they're already taking on the burden. I'm listening to Eight at the Table. They're talking about That's not actually what she said. why she said was women cannot cheat in a relationship. They saying that men, y'all, this stuff is amazing. This, my sister got me. I'm annoyed. Hello? All right. Bye. I'm sorry, but I hate when people call me, ask me a question for something that they can find on the internet. Something that you can Google, okay? But anyways, what I was saying is, they're saying that it hurts more when a woman cheats on a man because men make six times more the amount of money that women make. 
in a relationship. Six times more. Six times more. I don't think I believe that number. We're not talking about the A-listers, the Hollywood people, the higher-ups. We're talking about the average American, the average American man who's working finance at a car dealership, who's working off an oil rig, who uh, 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 drives an 18-wheeler, who is maybe some type of manager, property manager, or whatever. The average American man is not making six times more than their spouse? Come on now. Come on now. Yes, men historically make more money than women. We know that. We know that with the same qualifications, uh, uh, a man will come in and make more than a woman, okay? Black women are the lowest of the low. Above a black woman is a black man, then a white woman, then of course the white man is at the at the high, the, the the top of the top, top of the food chain. That's what I that's the word I was looking for. But um, they're talking about how I don't know. I just don't. I don't know. I don't agree with the number, and then I don't agree with it's all about how much money you make. Cheating is about how much money you make because Rico. I don't really like him on the show. He's saying he's changed because I haven't watched Ed's Table in a minute. He says knew Rico if they were going 50-50 then he it wouldn't hurt so much if his spouse or significant other cheated but he said if he was the breadwinner it would hurt more because he's doing more work I, I just I just don't believe all of that is a crock of bullshit to me because you're making more money that means you're doing more work than me but I'm going to work every day too and I'm taking care of the kids and I'm taking care of the household and I gotta fuck your ass whenever you want whenever you want this like I and I'm, you know, it's just, I don't, it's a crack of BS. And I think I was trying to tell y'all, this is some good straightening spray. My sister got this for me. You guys need this. You guys need this. Um, Yeah, it's a little bit expensive, but it's so worth it. It's almost, I probably got about half, half a bottle left. It's hard to tell. But um, what y'all think? I, men are going to be emotional about anything anyway. I mean, a man... Your man isn't going to want you to go to lunch with your male, male co-worker. They going to feel some type of way. Oh, you can't, you can't go out to eat with your male co-worker. And then you'll be like, but sweetie, he's gay. Like, he's, he, has a, he has a husband. It don't matter. He a man and you got a hoe. He still want to fuck you if he had the opportunity. I've, I've actually heard that. I'm, someone has actually told me that. I'm like... Okay, but yeah, men don't even want you to go out to eat with your male coworker. Um, men are just, I don't know. And I'm, of course, this is not all men. I, I, I do have to throw that in there. I'm, when I'm saying men, I'm not talking about all men. I'm just generalizing a portion of men because the guy who's speaking right now is basically saying all of this, that basically a man, it's better for a man to cheat because he's the breadwinner. But when a woman cheats, it's all bad because she's not the breadwinner. What the hell do cheating and finances have to do with each other? If I'm making 50,000 a year and you making 80,000 a year, it's okay for you to cheat. Because that men making six times more than women, I don't believe that at all. Not one bit. Oh, shoot. Ah, let me hurry up, bye. Bye, y'all. To contribute to the household the way that their partner needs them to contribute, right? So I think this year, let's rid ourselves of this concept of real relationships and let's enter partnerships. Because mm, yep. partnerships are negotiated while relationships tend to carry roles that are no longer applicable to today's so so societal norms. And I'm telling you like this, if any man and woman both work 40 hours a week and they make it relatively the same there is going to you're creating a recipe for disaster basically you're both getting home at five o'clock six o'clock let's just say or hypothetically you're only going to be home together for five or six hours what y'all think about the 50 50 now they talking about that 50 50 if a man and a woman makes the same amount of money right. what do y'all think about that going 50 50 50 yeah. let me know but this hair flat iron so nicely once I pick the kids up, I'll probably run over it again. But I really don't even think I need to. It's like bone, baby. That's bone straight. Once again, all the information will be down below for Arabella Hair. Y'all check them out. Hey, y'all. What up?
is cheering. Oh, Lord. I had me waste my money on donut holes. I'm not even going to eat them. <sighs> anyway, I'm ready for the night. Oh, let me show you guys the outfit. Hold up. Let me get my lighting right. Let me show y'all the whole fit. Put my fans in here. <laughs> okay, so we have a Givenchy top. These are some Fashion Nova jeans. This is my same wig. I just flat ironed it. Silver earrings. Y'all, you know your lashes aren't thick enough when you have to put on magnetic lashes. So I might call them tomorrow. Like, this is not what... No. Okay, so anyway, then I just have on... Child, look at all my jewelry. Who I think I am? Keisha Kaylor? Then my silver Givenchy bag. And then y'all. <laughs> I got my boots on. I got my boots on. We'll see how comfortable they are. Like I said, I need to give them a whirl. And if they stretch out like I'm hoping they will, then yeah, I'll get the red ones. Yeah, we're about to make it a little drinky drink. Oh, look at this cute little cup. This was on clearance at DSW for $10, $9.99. So if y'all are DSW members, like just have an account with them, they give you a free $10 every year. And I really don't shop DSW, but I just happened to check my account. And I'm like, ooh, I, on both my accounts, I got $10 and $10. So I bought a cup and then I also bought a charger. A phone charger for $10. So I got two free items. Thank you, DSW. I'm not going to use that cup. I'm going to use this one because it's smaller. We're doing a little Tito's. Y'all already know. Tito's and Ciroc are my favorites. Look, us. I show you guys all the time how I make my drinks, so we ain't even going to go through it. What juice do I want? That's cool. I'm headed to my sister's house, so for when I get to her crib, her humble abode, and then me and her will drink together. We might even take some shots together. The 31st to see the Astros get their championship rings. Hey, you all. Just made it to my sister's apartment. I'm about to drink my drink now. <laughs> I'm trying to suck my drink down. There's no way I can. I, I'm, I'll probably go in her uh, house and probably just take like a shot or something. But um, I'm going to leave my camera in the car because we are Ubering. And I would just hate to take my camera with me and they check my bag and say, no cameras, you got to put it away. And I'm like, my car is miles and miles. You know what I mean? So y'all will get footage off of my phone. I'm a little nervous because I hate leaving my camera in the car. I should have thought this through. I literally was rushing, so I just grabbed everything. But I will take my memory card with me. Y'all can steal the camera. But bitch, I need my fucking footage, okay? I, I need my footage. I, the camera can be replaced. The footage cannot, all right? So, anyway, I'm gonna see y'all inside Tina's house. <laughs> okay, y'all. Um, we're at Tina's war. Y'all know it's always set up so cute. Mine be looking all ghetto with four different flavors. Do we want to look the last shot of the 1942? Literally. A shot. Oh, that's it. Almost half a shot. It'll get the job done. You want to just leave the bottle on your bar, Tina? Okay. Dark chocolate espresso martini. Mm, Y'all heard that? What you use? Bailey's, Kahlua? Bailey's, Kahlua, and I, I don't even know what this is. Ooh. This tastes amazing. Mm. Y'all take a screen. 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 Y'all take yeah. Wow, this is good. We only got a small cup, because y'all know. Mm. But I, 
I also add what to call it in there. Um, what is well, this? Kettle that, oh, kettle one also. Okay. Y'all heard the recipe? Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Y'all, we head to the Rockets game. Oh. <laughs> Don't she look so cute? Y'all always love her seeing her on my channel. Do a little twirl. Show the shoes. Mm-hmm. Zara. Period. <laughs> You're gonna smell the DMs like it. Anyway, what's up, y'all? It's April 1st. It's the first of the month. Them food stamps just hit. That wick just hit, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. It ain't hit for me, but it hit for somebody. Child, I used to love them days. Like, ooh, I can buy the name brand. I ain't got to buy that great value. <laughs> shit. Oh, Lord. Anyway, it's April 1st. New month, new beginnings, new goals, new money, new everything. Just be in a whole new mindset. Like, it's, yeah, it's the first. I got to pay my personal trainer. I got to pay rent. I got to add money to my kids' lunch accounts. Um, yeah, what do y'all do on the first? Even though it's a Saturday, I'm about to just do, 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 send everything off. Actually, let me put my computer on my bed so I can remember to do that because child I be forgetting with the kids lunch accounts it's not that I be forgetting sometimes the kids will run out of money in the middle of the month sometimes they'll run out of money and they don't even know I'll just like let me just randomly check and I'm like how is Ashton negative six dollars and twelve cents they don't be letting her know they just don't let her just keep going in the negative so but I try to do it at the on the first of every month even though these little rugrats be going through that. They be buying all the snacks, all the donuts, all the chips, all the juice. And it's like. But anyway, um, such a pretty, 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 pretty downside. We had so much fun last night, y'all. I didn't get to end the vlog how I wanted to or end last night how I wanted to. Um, Me and my sister had so much fun at the game. So much fun. She was like, um, when are we doing this again? I said, bitch, when it's on you. She was like, I'm not buying no expensive floor seats. <laughs> so that's my, that's my, so that's my best. When I was at my lowest, 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 when I tell you guys, when I didn't have $70, $50 in my account, my sister, because she's always been a successful hairstylist. She always, from the very beginning, she chose the right path always been successful been making been making six figures since her early 20s and i mean she's just always like been on a straight and narrow path never had bad credit you know i'm the one who went through all the <laughs> went through everything so i was like the little rebel who went through the ups and downs of career bad credit and you know this and that so but anyway i was saying all that to say i don't mind blessing my sister with she want to go to another game again yes i will buy us floor seats again Cause like I said, that's my, that's all, I, that's, she's the only person I have here in Houston. Family wise, she is the only, um, blood relative I've have. I do have, you know, other people who are close to my family who I might call aunt, cousin, this, that, but they're not blood. You know, they're just close family friends. So, oh, well I have, I do have my cousin that just moved. I be forgetting. I'd be like, I do have a cousin that just moved here. It's just been me and my sister for so long that I forgot. I'm like, I just have a cousin, a cousin who moved here in November, you know? So, but yeah she's she's as you guys know she's the closest one to me here so anyway um yeah we just had so much fun we ended the night going to a restaurant called max's wine dive the food was terrible i ate there last time i had max's wine dive was like this had to be 10 years ago and i had that was my first time ever 
hearing about deep fried lobster. I didn't eat it at that point, but that was my first time. I was like, ooh, they're deep frying lobster? You know, but um, I remember their greens and their chicken and waffles, their wings being real good. The shit that we ordered, I didn't even take pictures. I don't even think I showed y'all. It was terrible. And me and her, we don't waste food, but it was awful. It was bad. And she said that she was just there by like six, seven months ago. And she said her food was good, but last night it was terrible. Anyway, we wound up getting that itis. Um, we went home. We did not um, go out. We were supposed to go to a sports bar afterwards to meet some of our friends who came in from out of town. And we was just too tired. Tanya said she was going to meet us too. She wound up texting us saying she was like, I got that itis. Because she had went out to eat too. And she Anyway, yeah, we all ate. Got itis, went home, went to bed. It was an early night. I well, I didn't go to bed. I, I'm a lot. I ain't lying to you. They dropped uh, five more episodes of Love Is Blind, so I watched two last night, and then I went to bed. So I went to bed at probably 3 a.m. Even though I got home kind of early. Y'all, Tina had to take my boots off. Y'all see the motherfucker sitting right there? Y'all see him right there, right there. Tina had to take them off before. Um, before she left the house. She was like, this makes no sense. These are these boots are so hard to get off. She's like, that's why I don't, haven't bought them yet because every time I hear about people putting them on and taking them off, they're so hard to take off. I will never spend this amount of money because it's too hard to take these boots off. It was at one point where she was like, bitch, you gonna have to sleep in these boots. She was like, I can't get it off. She's like, you gonna sleep in it. Anyway, they wound up coming off. The, the left, my left boot, it came off very easy. Literally, she just pulled and it just came right off. My right boot, child, we had to put a little Vaseline and grease, a little oil. I'm just joking, but she had to use a strong arm <laughs> to get it off my right foot. But it came off, so. Once the, le she was telling me about these things on Amazon that stretch the leather. So she was like, if you can stretch the leather a little bit, then that would help. And then she was also saying something about using a blow dryer on low and then wearing like three pair of thick socks and that will stretch the boot out. I just, I, I would be scared to damage the leather using a blow dryer. I don't know. But anyway, she was just giving me some suggestions. What I read online was just wear them. With wear, leather will naturally stretch out. So, and they weren't that bad. I wore them all night. Um, That was, how many hours was that? I've had them on from like 6 p.m. to... Got home at midnight, 12.30, something like that, 12, 12.30. And I had them on that whole time, so it's not bad. So I probably will be ordering the red ones. Anyway, um, it's Saturday. I don't have anything to do today. Ashton has a game later on tonight. I hate that they made her game. Her, she has two games. Super duper late. I really hate that. They start at 7 p.m. and they end at 10 p.m. Why are little kids playing basketball at 10 p.m.? That's crazy. The other organization that she was with before this current one, all of the games were on Saturdays at like 8, 9, 10 a.m. That's how it's supposed to be. Like, children's sports, yes, on weekends in the morning. Why are we having games at 8, 9, and 10 p.m.? This is sick because... I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be there, but I'm going to complain. You know, of course, I got a complaint to y'all. Their dad was even, he was like, that's sick. Like, what is wrong? He was like, I don't know what's wrong with them. But, yeah, that's crazy. Um, Let's see what's for breakfast or for lunch. It's 1230. Yeah, almost 1230. What's for lunch? Jennifer invited me to meet her for lunch. She's like, girl, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> she was like, I'm about to pull up. I'm like, girl, I am literally in my pajamas and in my bonnet. Like, I need to throw something on real quick. Give me a second. And then when I took my bonnet down, my hair was crinkled. Like, doop, 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 like going zigzag like a damn staircase. For me, uh, hurry up, hurry up, throw something on. I, I just, I, I, I can't. Like, I always, you know, I don't have to do makeup or anything. But I at least got a, shit, I got a flat iron in my hair. I ain't going to come in no uh, sandals or nothing. You know, I'm going to put on a little okay outfit. I'm being rushed, y'all. I'm wearing this Skims outfit that I have not worn in forever. Y'all know, y'all know, I used to be addicted to buying Skims. Let me tell you what's so crazy. I have not worn any of my Skims stuff. Um, I don't know if I even wore any of my Skims stuff in 2022. 
I haven't worn a set like this in probably about close to a year. So I have five full skims outfits that I probably bought at this point, maybe a year, year and a half ago that still have the tags on them. Still have the tags on them. So that's almost, that is like $500 in skims, full sets. Have the tags on them, have not worn. Don't know if I even plan on wearing them. That's, that's, that's crazy. I was so obsessed with skims that every time a new color came out, I needed it. Every time they restocked in my size, I gotta get it. And now look at me. Don't even hardly wear them anymore. Got about eight sets that I have worn and five brand new sets that have the tag on them that I literally bought a year. Y'all have, have not heard me talk about skims since probably when I first moved into this house. But anyway, this is the look. I don't think I told y'all, but I wound up hitting up my lash tech last night and I said, when are you available? I need you to redo my lashes. I'm like, this is just not it. This isn't it. They're not full. It's just, it's not it. I told her, I was like, I had to wear some strip lashes last night. Please just squeeze me in whenever you can. I'll pay the difference and I'm gonna tip you well. She was like, okay, come in Monday morning. I said, I, <sighs> it sucks. The girl is so sweet who did my lashes, but it's just like, I just, you know, it's which, whatever you're used to, that's what you're used to. So, okay. So the fragrance that I put on is this Oud Sahara and I mixed it. Ooh, dang it. I mixed it with Ebony Woods by Zara. Y'all, it smells so good. It's giving more of like an evening scent, but when I tell you it smells like, good like bossy grown like it smells so good this little fragrance i got from marshall's for 12.99 i tell you i love ouds ouds are like people either love either love them or hate them there's like no in between so before you just go like buying a oud like a blind buy i feel like <laughs> That was random, me just started brushing my eyebrows. I feel like you need to smell it first on your skin because a lot of people don't like ouds. Okay, let's go. I need some lip gloss because my lip's looking a little white and crusty. Okay, they say happy hour for $6 frozen drinks every day from three to six. I didn't plan on drinking, but we'll see. Oh. Okay, here's the happy crab. I'm looking cute. <laughs> 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 you wish not to be on camera? Keep trying. Because I'm gonna buy something. Damn, Keisha's over there eating. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all untie it or you just? Yeah, I untie it and let the steam up. Uh -oh. Maybe she was tearing it up. Oh, I, I told you, I did not realize I liked crabs until we went to Raymond. Yeah, Vegas made me like, okay. Ooh, steam up the camera, why don't you? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord for me. Yes, Lord for me. Yes, Lord. Your face a little greasy. Your face greasy? What's going yeah. on? Why is your face <laughs> greasy? They're very observant. I say this all the time. I'm gonna say it again. I do not like working for my food. I just think crab legs, crawfish, all that. I just I can do the shrimp. I could do the peel and eat shrimp. That that's easy. It's the hard shell stuff. Not even so much crawfish. It's it's the crab legs. I'm just gonna keep it a buck. It's the crab legs. Like I just can't get it right. It takes too long. And it kept feeling like one of my nails was gonna pop off. And actually, one of them did crack. I think I ate it. <laughs> it was one time I was eating something. I said, oh, that was a little, felt weird going down. And I looked down and my nail. <sighs> so I couldn't figure out how to work the little red thing that you slide it through. It wasn't working right on some of the pieces. I don't know, y'all. 
I don't know, maybe I just need to take a master class on it. Then the lady that worked there, she said, you want me to teach you? I said, yes, please. I'm thinking she gonna get a crab leg from the back. She said, hand me one of your crab. I, I said, no, indeed, no. I'm gonna figure it out myself. What you mean you gonna teach me on my plate that I paid for? You work there, go grab a crab, a, a, a freaking little leg out the back and, and teach me how to do it. She started laughing, and I'm like, I'm serious. You're not about to teach me. I'm like, and everybody, everybody table was like, no, yeah, uh-uh, no. <laughs> so, anyway, I am headed to Ashton's game. Let me see how much further it is. I think I'm about to, I should be pulling up on it in a minute. And am. This is my turn. Hold up. It said I was five minutes away before I picked up the camera. Now it's saying I'm eight minutes away. I done missed my turn talking to y'all. I'll be back. I got my, my little buddy with me. He don't want me on camera. But anyway, we're about to try the Popeye's viral biscuit. Do they have it or no? Hello. I'll say that one more time. I'm sorry. This is speaking. What can I get for you? Oh, okay. Um, I will take the, the strawberry biscuits. How many? The four pack. Four? Yes, the four pack. And... I'm sorry I did not come back on camera to let you guys know how the biscuit was. Um, by the time y'all watch this, it would have been old already because stuff on TikTok is only hot for a week. <laughs> but anyway, to me, the biscuit was a 6 out of 10. It was very overrated, very hyped up. It wasn't nasty, but it wasn't... Y'all, folks hyped it up. Like, it was just hyped up. So I say, yeah, go try it. It's worth trying, but it's not a 10 out of 10. Whoever said it's a 10 out of 10 is a mother lie. They lie. Maybe they ate it with some vanilla ice cream or something. We were out to eat earlier today with Key, um, one of Jennifer's friends, and she said that she got one. She put it in her toaster oven or air fryer. She just said she took it home, put it, she put it in one of those and made it crispy and hot, and she said it was really good that way. Because the way that they have it packaged inside that little container, it's like it's, they putting a hot biscuit inside of a plastic container so it gets steamy. So it's kind of like moist. I don't know. Anyways, it was hyped up. I tried it. I ain't got to get it again. Ethan just said it was okay too. But anyway, I'm about to, um, I'm watching YouTube videos right now. I'm probably going to maybe watch an episode of love is blind we'll see we'll see where the uh night takes us but i am supposed to be going to look at houses with tina tomorrow i probably will bring y'all along a little bit we'll see if y'all act right if y'all behave y'all can come good afternoon happy sunday um about to go look at some houses i'm just uh a little stressed out a little annoyed i just if y'all remember almost two years ago when I was looking at houses and how they were just like, um, we, that's not real income. That's not real income. What's a social media influencer? What's a YouTuber? Um, oh, she does marketing, but why is all her payments coming from Google? I, we just don't understand that. They should, y'all, yeah, it was so much drama not drama but just like hoops i had to jump through to get this house and my last house you know so 
I feel like it's coming again because I did put in an offer on a house last week and the realtor did say, hey, I got to look back at the screenshot of the text message, but she was basically saying, oh, oh, this is what she said. She said, oh, self-employed people usually pay the whole year up front. Who does that? At never, ever, ever pay the whole year up front? Never heard of that. Now I can understand if I had bad credit, maybe broken leases, a criminal background to say, okay, well, just as good faith, can you pay three months in advance, four months in advance? I could see that if I had any of them things going on. Baby, credit is excellent. Bank account fat. Y'all see I get paid consistently every single month. Like I just don't, and, and my balance in my account has stayed within a certain range. I am a platinum rewards member at, at my bank, okay? I am the highest tier you can get at my bank i am there been there so it's like what do you why child i know some of y'all gonna say well gina just buy just buy just buy a house you, you should just buy since you're going through so many hoops i get that mind though i get it y'all i'm just i don't want to buy i don't want to i don't want the responsibility i just don't and no one can change my mind otherwise <laughs> like Y'all can write in the comments. I understand the benefits. I, I get it. I'm just not right. I will know when the time is right, when I want to purchase. And it ain't today. So anyway, so we're about to go look at some more houses right now. Ethan's upstairs getting dressed. I think I'm about to make me some coffee. Ashton is playing in her championship game. Her dad just texted. She won her first game. So they move on to the next phase. I think it's like the last phase because he said that they have the actual championship game at 6 p.m. That is? Okay, yeah. So, that's what my baby's doing. And I'm so shocked Ethan wants to ride. He don't ever want to go nowhere. You look cute. This is nice. I don't like the low ceiling, but we can probably make do. Oh, well, short, yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? You can do shoe racks on, on the side of it, but I just put a, a mirror right there. Yeah, that's cool. This master bedroom is huge. You can see the lake outside. Upstairs patio. This game room is massive. And that one really wasn't even no, terrible. I mean, it, wasn't, but it, it just wasn't it, what it, I needed. Because you're not going to go in there and paint. That's right. Stupid. You know what I'm saying? It had nicks and scratches everywhere. Like, I get why you'd be like, no. Like, you don't have to stay in no place like right. that. Right. But this is definitely up to up to standard. Yeah. Yes, like, little, there's little things that are, like, a little outdated. Like, I'm obviously. The cabinets. Yeah, but. Yeah. That ain't that big of a deal. It's not. If you were buying it, I understand, you would be like, okay, I want to. You'd either be like, I'm going to replace the cabinets myself. Because you, I know you would want different cabinets. Or like at least stain them and put some new fixtures on them. Cause that's yeah. all I would need to be done actually. Right. Cause they're still in good shape. You are at the second house, well the third house. That's the master. It's big, nice size, nice little floor. The bathroom is very basic and narrow. Wow. The shower tub is pretty much like I have already. That is ugly. <laughs> but yeah, this closet is massive. Oh my God. Oh, 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 it's huge, y'all. Oh my God. Like this is beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
And it could, the house could show so much fucking better if they had it cleaned it up properly. Yeah. Well, it's only been on the market for zero days, so that might be why. It's on the market, though. Yeah, they should have. Yeah. So, it should be ready. you putting it on the market on the weekend. People coming. Yeah, that's true. The way, the, the, way the listing is even written is like all offers, put submit your offers. You know, like the way like the it's ready to go. It, like, she thinking she about to get multiple offers. Bitch, no, you're not. Yeah. No, you are not. This is disgusting. What? What the? What is that? Yeah. What the fuck, y'all? You can tell it's been sitting there too. Yeah. This is a. This is a, actually a really pretty house, but it's like, cause when it's a lease, it's like, this is not your responsibility to all these fucking cobwebs. Y'all, so tell me why the first house we went to, which is the house I love, like I love it, love it. The second we pulled out the driveway, I get an update that said, your listing that's in your favorites has increased in price. Why did they increase by $300 as soon as we, we left out the driveway? I said, these cameras are listening to us. They heard me say how much I love it. They heard my sister, give me some little key tips about what we need to do anyway i just feel like the cameras were listening even though she says it's illegal they're it supposed is, to have is. the sound off it is definitely they was probably listening like oh oh she like it too much we about to raise this price up i don't know it sucks i mean i'll still pay that price but it's, it sucks like why would y'all do that next house I hate every room being closed off. I hate every room closed off. Like the kitchen's closed off. That's kind of closed off. Nice high ceilings. Get a bar. A bar. Okay, we're on the second level. This is the gaming room, media room. I think so, yeah. Or a media room. Next house. Kitchen's nice. That's a big old closet. Hey y'all, we're back home. Probably gonna watch a little bit of Ratchet TV on my laptop. Um, the house search went great. There were two houses that I really, really liked. So I will be putting applications in on those. Um, and then I have two applications out on houses last week. So I was telling my sister, like, let's just stop here for now. Let's see what happens with these because I like these a lot. I don't want to be overwhelmed. And y'all know application fees are like $75, $100 each. So I don't want to just have my credit credit ran a bunch of times. And so I'm telling her, like, let's just stop with what we have. See what happens. See what the responses are. So anyway, um, the journey continues. The journey continues until someone says yes i guess you know but i would definitely keep you guys posted so hopefully soon no more paint splatter walls no more 1992 walls even though this house was built in like i think 2015 <laughs> shoot but yeah so anyways guys i love y'all i will probably i don't think i'm picking y'all back up am i ending the vlog here or am i gonna pick y'all back up it's kind of late no. Anyways, we'll see.